everyone, it's Sarah here. Um, we're going um, live right now. We actually have a bit of a system glitch, so um, we'll be, it'll be slightly delayed, about like five minutes. So let me share across. Uh, okay, so how do we share this? <laughs> Sorry everyone, um, a bit of system glitch right now, so we will start in 10 minutes, um, there's a problem with the Wi-Fi. can see you all so just uh, okay so let's start right now where is my carrot deck 
Okay, sorry. So disorientated right now because there's a bit of system glitch. So I was trying to fix it. Um, I'm supposed to like connect it to something called like OBS Studio, but couldn't work because of uh, problems with um, better Wi-Fi. But anyways, we are ready to start with your free tarot reading today. So if you have questions, please post it um, down below at um, the comment section. And I'll try my best to read as um, many questions as possible. So um, I actually got my first question. Um, this person, um, this is from one of my um, former clients, but she has, um, she is 28 years old, working in the legal, legal field. And her question is, Okay, she's 28 years old, um, working in the legal industry for one month. She wants to know whether her current job is um, suited for her. So, okay. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. First card, the lover's card. But unfortunately, it's in reverse. So what it means is that um, there's a possibility of uh, conflicts with um, there's a possibility of conflicts with either uh, bosses or teammates. So when lovers card is upright, it's basically it's like you know a soulmate connection. So you see eye to eye with everyone. But when it's in reverse, it means that there's a possibility. Um, the job may be like a great job for you. It may be a very incredibly good package, but because it's in reverse, it means that you do not see eye to eye either with a person or several persons in the company, which I, um, unfortunately makes it quite difficult. Next question. Okay, so the next question is Chris. Um, can I ask about my career for this year? Shall I stay or look out? So generally in par parrot reading, right, uh, we will ask in detail, for example, how old are you? How long you've been working in this job or industry? Or also, um, for example, um, yeah, your age, you know, how long have you been working in this, in, in this in industry? We would ask, definitely ask you this kind of details. The reason why, because different types of questions, there's a different type of spread. And the more, um, pres I mean, the more uh, um, precise the question, the more accurate the reading is. But based on your question itself, can I ask about my career um, for this year? Shall I stay a lookout? Let's see uh, what card. Knight of Cups, also in reverse. Um, there's a possibility that you're looking out for opportunities um, that is either overseas or outstation. If for Outstation means if you're in KL, it means like Sabah, Sarawak, Penang, or Johor. Overseas can be like um, Thailand, Singapore. So there's a possibility that you are already looking out um, for opportunities, but it's in reverse, which means that you're in a very emotional, emotional um, phase of life, uh, probably in your career, because you are not getting what you want. Pro I, there's a possibility that you, you have already started looking out for like a new uh, job or opportunity. But unfortunately, uh, not, not at the moment. Um, so shall you stay or shall you look out? I think you've already started looking, but not yet. Um, you haven't received like your favorable, favorable, um, how say, opportunity yet. So keep on looking and also keep your emotions in check. Because uh, if you believe in law of attraction, when you're feeling emotional, you won't be able to attract like really really good opportunities so keep your emotions in check you know if there's always a reason why things happen you know one door closes another door open you know be positive don't get overly emotional about it next question adrian moore moving down to kl soon oh okay so adrian's my longtime friend met him first like uh when i was visiting melbourne my good friends with uh, i mean good friends with my another good friend called kelvin um, moving down to KL soon, so you can keep me up. Not too sure how far I go. Doing logistics now. Um, got some tip guidance for me. Okay, let's see what the card says, yeah? Ah, 
very good opportunity. So this is six of pentacles, also known as uh, six of coins, meaning they are opportunities. They are people, if you seek for help, they are people who are willing to help you and willing to offer you opportunities. So um, yes, it's a, it is a good opportunity and the card is also upright, meaning there's a very good opportunity, very, very good package for you and you should seek, um, seek people's help. You know, don't be like um, um, shy, you know, don't, don't be um, I'll say scared of like asking people for help because there are people who are willing to give you opportunity and willing to help you. So it's, it's, a, good, it's a good choice. So see you soon in KL. Next up, Felice, may I know my, my career and fortune this year? You always ask the same question, Felice. I, I know you've asked this a few times today, but let's check again, double check again, because I know you're an Aquarius like me, so you always like, you know, change, change your mind <laughs> like I do. So let's see your career and fortune for this year. Ah, you got the Sun card. So the Sun card is the best card that you can get in the tarot in the tarot deck so doesn't matter whether the position is upright or reverse the sun card is the best card you can get so the meaning of the sun card right is everything will go very very well um everything will go very very smoothly however because it's in reverse so there will be definitely delays for example there are things you want to achieve maybe you want to um, start your start your own business or go into another industry or another field of work or look for a new uh, uh, job yes You'll be able to do that, but possibly, possibly, um, you'll eventually reach your goal, la. So you know, just um, hang in there. But slight delays, slight delays, meaning if the timeline in your mind is about like six, six months, it'll probably be like nine months or up to one year. So hang in there; it will come true. But it's just slight delay. So good luck to you. Okay, Jasmine Lee. How's my career progression this year? Um, as I mentioned just now, usually when you ask questions, rather most the most um, how say popular one, the top two relationship or career, I I will usually ask like further further um, info in further information. For example, your age, how long have you been in this industry, or if you're dating someone, how long have you been dating this person? But um, because it's very very generic, so I'll, I'll pull out the card and see what the card says. How Jasmine Lin? How how is my career progression this year? Ooh, the star. Can you see it? So the star card is a very good card, meaning that you have certain dreams and ambition that you have been dying to do for some time already. Um, this year is the good. Time, really good time and good year to do it. For example, if you like want to have you, you've always wanted to pursue and like uh, something like artistic or uh, even your own business or things like that, you know, your dreams will come true. So, this card is like dreams and hold on to your dream because this year is really the year to do it. Or, for example, things that you've been wanting to do, like uh, maybe moving to a new country like China or Singapore or whatever, yeah, you should totally do it. But this is a very, very positive card. So good luck to you, Jasmine. Mili Mini. Will I have chances to get back together with my ex-boyfriend? Okay. Um, usually we need more details about this, like how long we've been, um, you know, been, been separated from, from each other. But let's see what the card says. Hi, Priestess. So High Priestess um, in reverse, High Priestess is actually a girlfriend card. Yes, he sees you as a girlfriend, but whether he sees you as someone who is a wife, uh, material, he do not know yet because of the existence of like this two pillar, um, the black and white, black and white meaning choices, meaning uh, also means that there's an imbalance of like body, body, mind and soul on both sides. So for you, your mind says something else, but your heart says something else. Same, likewise with him. His mind says something else, but um, your but his mind says something else, but his heart says something else, and his intuition says something else. So the meaning of um, the high priestess card means an imbalance of body, mind, and soul. He's not able to make the decision right now, and there's a lot of um, things that both of you need to figure out. So usually, like relationship questions like this, I would ask extra questions. I mean. Um, additional questions because I need more information for, for example, how old are both, are both of you? 
if both of you are really, really young, so definitely um, you're not at that phase of life where you really know what you want yet. So that's why both of you are figuring yourself out. Yeah, but even if you're older, you know, everybody has their own timeline. Everybody has their stage of life where they find out what they want in their life. You know, everyone has different stages, but unfortunately, both of you do not know what you really want in life yet. Maybe what you want may not be what you need, for example. So, um, unfortunately, this card is not that, it's not that fav favorable. Maybe, maybe you know, um, in the future, but not at the moment. Uh, both of you are still figuring out your book of your life. Yeah. Next up, Billion. May I know my career as I join, just joined this company and cannot see my future. Okay, so let's see what the card says. May I know my career? Um, how's, how's the career like um, as I just joined this company and can't see any future in this company? Oh, the chariots. So the chariot means, right, um, this current company, you're very, very busy because the chariots is, in the past, it's like Kareta Kudala, you know. So you're always like traveling here and there, here and there, very, very busy. Um, but you see um, there's black and white here. So in, in the cards, right, if there's black and white or there's symbol too, so there are actually other opportunities for you out there. Um, if you want to hunt for a new, um, um, like a new job, you should, you should because there are opportunities for you um, out there. But right now, in this career path, and for this company, it, show, it just shows that you're extremely, extremely busy. Maybe busy to the point right? you don't really have the time to actually sit down and, and think and, and reflect. But yeah, there are actually other opportunities um, out there. I also believe that you know life is extremely, extremely short. So if you're not happy already, my smile as well leave, you know no point staying in the company right because i always believe that everyone is very intuitive so if your intuition already tell you that if your intuition already tell you that you know you should leave i think you should start searching because there are other opportunities out there so good luck to you billion okay farah farah my Zuni. may i have a reading for my career i'm 24 and just getting started into the acting um, acting sector which is the acting industry performing arts industry okay let's see what the card says king of wands in reverse so king of wands right um this person is usually someone that is very, very creative very very charming um maybe possibly um this person is someone that you're working with. I'm not sure that you, whether you have an agent or not, or someone to like support you or a manager that can like give you uh, opportunities or introduce you to the right person. But um, this card shows that, you know, this person is quite hard to impress. And in order to impress this person, right, you need to really, really charm them in a way that if you need to buy cookies or buy cake for this person or you know um, yeah buy presents for this person in order to be in their favor you should you should do it yeah um, so this per there is someone that, they, that can help you definitely this person is in the performing arts industry because uh, king of wands is someone who likes to dress up who is very, very creative very, very fashionable um, sometimes a bit temperamental but but then again all artistic people are very temperamental um, this person can help you, but it's not a very straightforward um, method in order to get in this person's uh, good book. You have to like use methods like, you know, buy cake or like uh, always like um, say good things about this person. Oh, you're so, so handsome today or things like this. So good luck to you in your entertainment career. Next up, um, Ken Ki Tan. Can I get an advice on my career, please? Okay, you can. Oh, the world. So the world means, right, if you have been thinking of like pursuing other opportunities or the world, meaning even like if you're based in Malaysia, outside of Malaysia, like in Singapore, Thailand or whatever, you should try it because there are opportunities out there. Um, this card means the, the this card the world means the world is your oyster. So um, go out there and like go out there and like try like 
yeah, go go seek those opportunities because it's very favorable. It's up, it's upright. It's not reverse. Okay, next up, Wong Jerica would like to know about my career. Well, everyone's a career minded nowadays. No love problem. <laughs> But then again, money, money is more important if, um, because I study psychology, I'm uh, pursuing my PhD in human communications. So there's this um, theory called uh, the, the Maslow hierarchy of needs. It is proven scientifically in social science that money is more important than relationship because even if you are, um, the moment you are born and the moment you die, like, you know, going to hospital costs money. A funeral also costs a lot of money. But you know, you can when you when you're born, you're alone. But you can die alone. So unfortunately, yes, that's the, that's a hard proof. You know, money. We are the slaves for money, like from the day we are born. So that's probably why you know, mostly all career questions today. But for Wong Jerica, uh, which she would like to know about her career. Okay, so let's see. Ah, two of swords. You can see clearly here. So two of sorts um, means that right now you're in a crossroad. Cross so this person, right, it's like holding two sorts. Like, oh, I'm so, I'm so scared because this person is blindfolded. You can see. Yeah, so this person is blindfolded. So this person is quite scared. But the message of this card, right, is why are you scared? You see the, the sky above? It's clear. The sea behind this person, it's clear. There's no, no tsunami or anything like that. So why are you scared? The reason why you're scared is because you have not gotten enough information. You can always put down your thoughts, which is, thoughts is like uh, mental energy overthinking. You should stop overthinking, remove your blindfold, and get more information. If you can see what's in front of you and what's behind of you, you wouldn't be scared anymore. So the meaning of this card means, right, go get more information. If you want to change industry, get more information. If you want to, you know, stay in your same industry, but like change job, you definitely have people that in your industry or seniors or ex-colleagues or you know current colleagues that you can ask for advice. So you're only scared, right? And you're always like thinking a bit too much, uh, mental energy, overthinking. It's because you're afraid that you know you don't know where to go. But this, this is actually a very easy one. You just need to put down your thoughts, don't stop over. I mean, you should stop overthinking and like figure out, like ask, you know, ask around Google or like, you know, research, do more research, get more information. After that, you'll be more comfortable at where you are in life. Okay, next up, Regina. I just started my current job in the legal industry one month ago. Would like to ask, is this the job for me? Okay, just a fun fact. My top clients are actually lawyers, believe it or not. It's like, I, I, have, I have no idea why, but yes, so Regina asked um, her current job in the legal industry one month ago. She would like to ask whether this is the job for her. So let's see what the card says. Ah, so this card, which is the eight of pentacles or eight of coins, it means that you're actually picking up skills. So um, I'm not sure how old are you? Okay, uh, one month ago. So I, I assume that you're a fresh grad or very new in the legal industry. Um, so this card means that, um, yeah, you are actually learning. There is a lot of things for you to learn and a lot of skills for you to learn. So even though you do not see it yet, just hang in there and stay in there because there are a lot of skills for you to learn. And you see all these are money. Okay, over here. Money, 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 money sign. So meaning, right? After you pick up all these skills, right, it's very you can always you can always like move around into a career. You'll be very, very sought after. So I'm not sure what are your, your are you specializing in like condensing or litigation or criminal law or whatever, but it shows that the prospects are very good. So hang in there, learn as many skills as possible because the career path is very, very good. See a lot of money, a lot of career prospects for you. Okay, chia. WT, which is uh, my best friend in Singapore, love you. I want to check my career progression in my job. Okay, let's see. Okay, this card, um, five of sorts, the meaning of this card is ego. 
So whatever you're facing at the moment or whatever you're thinking at the moment, you really need to let down of your ego. Um, ego meaning, right, for example, you know, you know that something is like not working already and you know you need to move on. But because of ego, you don't want to let it go. But this card tells you, right, always keep your ego in check. You know, don't don't make wrong decisions right because of that ego or that pride. Pride is very, very necessary because it's your self-respect. But ego in life, right, is the thing right that always like uh, make make people make the wrong decision. So ego is not needed, pride is needed, pride and self-respect is needed, but ego is not needed. So whatever you're facing at the moment, whatever you're thinking of doing next within your career, like you um talk about career progression right now, um be more logical. You know, let, let go of your ego and be more logical. If, if the logical um, um, the logical decision for you is to like move on or, you know, to move departments or whatever, you should always make the logical choice. Okay, so good luck to you. Hong Yang, Hong Yang Go. Go Hong Yang. I think, I, I hope I got it correctly. Everything got stuck and stationary. How to go forward from here? Um, as mentioned earlier in the video, I usually need like more more information. So what are you stuck in? Are you stuck in your relationship? Are you stuck in your career? Are you stuck, I don't know, in a traffic jam? Just kidding. Um, but let's see what the card um, message has for you. Unfortunately, this card is um, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, right, is the only card in the deck where there's no human uh, image or hand or anything that is, uh, uh, you know, anything that's got to do with like human, like a hand or face or anything. So what's the, what the meaning of this card, right, it is everything that's happening to you is external and unfortunately, right, it is beyond your control. So this card says that, right, it's un unfortunately, it's really beyond your control. But hanging there for about eight weeks, about two months, it will slowly sort itself out because it's really beyond your control. One. Usually, like for tarot, why people do tarot is because it's a guidance. But when a person pull out this card, which is like the only card with this message in the deck, right, you only can be very, very patient. Everything that is happening to you is really not your fault and it's beyond your control. So just hang in there. It will slowly sort, up, sort itself out around like two months period, eight weeks period like that. So hang in there. Mili, Mini again. Actually, everyone wants question today, la, but I'm nice to you, la, okay? Can I check, will I have promotion opportunity in my job this year? Being in the company for about five years. Okay, let's see. Promotion for this year. So uh, usually Tarot can read up to one year ahead. So right now it's already April. One year ahead is March. So between now, April to March. Let's see. Okay, so um, Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands, it means that, you know, it, um, you've been in, a, in, the, in this company for five years already and you felt very burdened. However, um, you're slowly releasing the burden, meaning that you're slowly getting used, used to it. Will you get a promotion Promotion this year? This card is, this is uh, one of the cards that I need to pull another card because it is not very, very clear. So the next card is, unfortunately, Five of, Pen five of Pentacles. Say hi here. It's uh, Alex, the manager of uh, Gyro, the today's venue sponsor. <laughs> You want you, you want reading? No, I can give your question to my assistant, Carmen. Okay, so over here, um, it means you are slowly getting used to the to the work. Already. Previously, the past five years, right, was quite like burdenful for you. I don't know whether that's the right English word, but you're slowly releasing your burden. Will you get promotion this year? Uh, it is negative. And then you see five of pentacles. Pentacles means here. So you've been there five years unfortunately don't really have prospects of promotion at the at the time being i'm so, i'm so sorry to say yeah not not in the next one year okay sorry uh, the music is like a bit a bit loud a bit loud right now so um andrew william Ao. hi william I just resigned and running my own enrichment center. Would like to know uh, my future in this industry. Okay. I thought you were doing the cooking school. Uh, William is actually my high school mate and primary school mate. So I've known him for like 22 years. 
Um, I'm, I'm as pretty as uh, 22 years ago. You can ask him. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, over here, a lot of uh, stress for you. So um, a lot you've been having a lot of um, a lot of like thinking, overthinking. Also, sometimes to the point you become negative. You see, this person insomnia cannot sleep at night. So you if if you have been been through like a very very stressful period. Unfortunately, uh, next ten months also a lot of strategizing and a lot of like um like planning planning for you because I think it is a switch from a very, very big. Uh, switch from like your your past industry, so yes, a lot of, of a lot of planning and uh, strategy. So let me pick up one more card and see what else does the card say. Yeah, so this card means also strategy and building. Uh, how say this? The meaning of this card right is building your foundation. Right now, your foundation in this new field of work, right or new field of career, is not strong yet. So you really need your build a foundation. So hang in there. Once the foundation is solid, right, you'll feel more secure in your in your current um, new new career path. So yeah, very very stressful and overthinking, but just 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 do only like, you know, just do. You already know what you need you need to do. So just build that solid foundation. So once it's more secure, and then you only you can start building the building the house. But I I do foresee the next ten months will be a bit more stressful for you. Good luck to you in your new business. Oh, okay. Also, also William. Actually, this one question of uh, one per like for each person today. But I'm I'm a very nice person, good hearted, you know, ever since uh, forever. Also, my wife is going um to deliver my son in the end of May. Congratulations to you. With myself uh changing direction in my career, I'm afraid I can't I, I can't support my family. Everything always hap you know, the thing about life is right, everything always happen for a reason. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So really, really hang hang in hang in there. Um let's see what does the card say. This is actually a very good card. Um it shows right, just hang in there. You will be you will make it you will make it true. So King of Pentacles, right? You can see King of Pentacles, you see this person is a businessman holding money. So you will get there eventually. You just need to hang in there. I know you're facing a lot of like men mental stress right now from the cards just now, but hang in there. You will. This is a very extremely positive card, um, in in terms of like um your your uh, career and what you're facing right now. Just hang in there. It's like everybody right will, will face right a period of their life right in their lowest low. And even Oprah Winfrey, you know, Oprah Winfrey, she got pregnant at like fourteen years old and her child died, but now she's a multi millionaire. Everyone will have that story. So just really just hang in there because it's a very positive part. You will make it. So, hang on, yam tala. Okay, we make it. <laughs> Introduce more people to me. We need law. Would like to know what is my future in my current company. Oh, also like roughly same same question today. All career related. Okay. Um, would like to know what's your future. We need law. Would like to know her future in her current company. Ace of Cups in reverse. So Ace of Cups means like promotion, happiness, certain types of expectation, um, over overflowing of happiness. There is something that you expect in your current company. Either it's a promotion, or certain increment, or or some or something like that. But unfortunately, it's in reverse. It means that it will be a very emotional time because um, I do not foresee in the next one year. So just manage expectation. Tarot can see up to one. One year from from right now in April to next year, uh, March twenty twenty, it will be quite emotional for you because you may not, um, unfortunately, but you may not get what you want in this company. Sometimes you don't need to be very hard or harsh on yourself because sometimes it's really really not your fault. You may be the hard, most hardworking person in the company. But sometimes if, if there's like company politics or, or things like that, or you know, if you got no like you in you in fun or fate with like the person that you're working with, or no no quiet in the company that can help you, that is why sometimes you know you, you don't get the opportunities that you think that you de you, you deserve. So within this company company, unfortunately, no, um, do not see any any prospects or like um, increment or promotion at the moment for the next one year. Okay, Merlin Lee. So I am still have time. Uh, Merlin Lee. Just want to know how my job career in my current company. I work for 
I work for three years. The current company seems uh, shaky currently. So actually, the past two years, a lot of, I'm not sure whether you're based in Malaysia, I assume you're in Malaysia, but um, because I, I used to fly around Southeast Asia, so Malaysia economy is quite crappy compared to other places like in Indochina, like Vietnam and all that. So yeah, I don't think it's just a company, but let's see what the card says. Magician. So magician, right, it's someone that is very, very intellectual. So you're someone who's extremely intellectual. You see the infinity sign on the head? This person, right, at the lowest low, right, they can always like find, right, can magic themselves out of that, of that negative situation. So you are, you are this magician. But this magician, right, is in reverse. So you, it means, right, you already know, right, you have a lot of qualities in you, a lot of skill sets, right, that is extremely good, you know, leadership, um, um, uh, very, very good management and all that. But unfortunately, at the at the time being, right, you find that you are not a you are not able to showcase this skill set or or this like um all your skills and all your positive aspect of you. You're not able to showcase it. So like I say just now, somewhere in the middle in the video, right? Always believe your intuition is because yes, this um your intuition is already telling you that you are not able to like be that that magician um. And, and never in a positive light. So if you're thinking of like changing career or to a new company, you, you should you should think about it. Damari, hi, how are you? I applied for a new job and got an interview next Monday. I hope I can get it. I hope you can get it too. So is that your question? You want to see what's the prospect? Let's see what the card has to say. High possibility. Um, so the new company would expect you to work hard, of course. <laughs> but this one, right, it is a, a farmer working, working very, very hard and planting the seeds so that he can get very, very good rewards uh, in, in, the, in the near future. So this company, right, yes, they, they want you to work very hard. Like I mean, like all company do. But this, this company actually promise you, right, certain prospect. For example, right, if you work very hard for us, if you're with us for next one year, we'll give you like an X amount of share or you make you uh, one of the directors or one of the managers, something like that. So it is a quite quite wor worthy um, investment of your time and energy for this um, new company. So good luck to you. I hope I hope you get it. Next up, Ken Key. If I'm allowed to ask one more question, things really didn't go well in career and relationship, friends and love, and at uh, things didn't really go well in career and relationship, both her friendship and in her love life. So she will need advice for her relationship in general. Um, Kinky Tan. Kinky, sorry. Let's see what the card has to say. King of Cups. Um, so King of Cups, right, it means, number one, a very, very emotional phase of your life, like, uh, like you mentioned just now. So water is emotions and it's in reverse. So negative emotion. So a very, very emotional stage of you in your life uh, right right now because uh, you say that a lot of things like didn't didn't go according to what you had hoped for, what you had idealized, and what you had planned. Um, but this card also also means right um, having like in a way emotional expectations of, of of people. For example, right, you're nice. You're sometimes right when you're nice to people, you the more you expect the more you're disappointed. So that is what you're facing at the moment. I, I find that if you, when you help people or, or, or whatever, right, you shouldn't have the expectation. For example, if like, yes, everyone, I mean, generally have the expectation, but you should let go because you are in a way killing yourself with, with your emotions. You're expecting too, too much from the other, the other party. So I, I think in a way, in, in terms of all types of relationship, monkey see, monkey do. You know, if this person is nice to you, you're nice to this person. If this person gives you a gift, you give this other person a gift. If this person, um, you know, proves themselves to be a worthy friend or worthy lover, then, you know, you put that extra, extra work, uh, extra work, sorry. But if this person is being an asshole, there's no point, right? It's like you, you, you continue on the friendship or relationship. You know, friends come and go. This is really, really part of life. Just just think that um, you're going through a phase of life only. You know, it's just like detoxing. There are always like friends that you 
you at your lowest low at the, your bad period in life right you know who are your true friends are so this just you're just going through a period where you're detoxing like bad friends or shit friends okay so don't worry about it just going through an emotional phase and don't have that much expectation of people so you cannot you can never change people you only can change yourself always remember that okay alana tan i'm thinking of starting a business overseas this summer what would the outcome be um as mentioned in the in the video a few times just now usually i would need more information for this like what uh, what what country is it and what uh, kind of business is it is it a beauty business or hotel business or something like that but let's see what the card says okay so over here right this card means uh month number one money card this card also means family card so family card can mean really your uh, uh, direct family or could also mean the friends around you or people around you so what are you planning to do right you're planning to um starting a business overseas this summer um it shows that number one Mon the, the money as aspect of it right hasn't been planned properly the strat the strategy when it comes to finance and all that so strategize properly number two there are a lot of people who are actually against that um that thought that um that uh decision that you have you have made so um you have to think why are these people not really supportive of you it could be your family your friends your relative or people basically people around you why are they not supporting your decision um so also, like I said, this is a money card. Is it because the fi finance wise, you're putting all eggs in one basket? You're not, you haven't like planned properly. You haven't like have like a proper business plan and, and things like that. So this card means that, yes, you want to do it in summer, but maybe delay a bit. Maybe do it in winter or maybe like like next year. Don't rush into it because you might suffer a lot of losses. So be be careful, lah. Rini, or is it Renee? I'm 23, currently having mutual feelings with someone, but uh, no one dares to take the first step. I would like to ask advice about relationship for this year. Um, believe it or not, so I'm doing my PhD in human communications. I'm actually investigating um, not just um, in intrapersonal communication, interpersonal communication, like um, non-verbal cues, uh, verbal cues, but I'm also investigating relationship communication. So if a guy, this is personal opinion, but you guys can, can take it. Uh, I personally believe that a man needs to be a man and like man up and toughen up. If he likes you, he should ask you. And I always believe that, you know, are you sure? How, how sure are you this person like you? Maybe this person is just like, like, like fond, fond of you. I never believe in a woman taking the first step. You know, some of you may agree, but I do not apologize. <laughs> and I stand by what I say. I, I always believe that a man should, should go after a woman. Um, personally, because I don't like beta, beta meals, I, I feel that I, I want an alpha meal in, in my life and so he should man up and ask me out. So, I, if you're my younger sister, I would tell you like, Pete lah, you know, this guy is like, if, if, you don't, if he's not asking you out, I'm not making the first, first move, right? There's always like better fishes out there, maybe even whales or sharks, you know, it's like, why, why you want this person? So, but I'll open a card for you to see what it says. ace of sorts so um yes um he is attracted to you intellectually he thinks you're someone that is very very intellectual so he admires your intellect he thinks you're a person who's very intelligent very like um like smart very very data driven but this part is in reversal so reverse it means right the opportunity um there is he he just admires you he don't like you that much in that type of way that is possibly why he is not making making the first move but there is admi admi admiration he thinks that you're a very smart person so he admires you in that kind of way but not in the type of person in, in a way that's like very passionate love at first sight or or i think she can be my future wife but so um sorry bad news but i i always believe that you know a guy should go after a girl so better luck with with, an, with another guy Phoebe Pang, I have a crush on someone and I would like to know if there's a chance for us. Okay, same, um, I will give you the same advice like Renee or so. If a guy is not making the first the first step, right? Because this is something I major, it, it's, 
I, I major like in like human communication and I read a lot of like relationship books also because of my studies. So I always believe that if a guy is not making the first move right, you shouldn't think so much so so much about him, even though you have you have a crush on him. But let's see what the what the card says. Okay, so this um this person right is actually thinking of his next step, next strategy. So there's the reason why this person is not making the first move yet is because in the next four months, right, this person is actually thinking. So everyone is very scared of this card because they think this is like a coffin and this person is dead. But no, this person came back from war, hang up, hang up uh, his thoughts, and is actually strategizing uh, the next the next step. So this person is actually thinking, right, what he wants to do in the next four months. That is why he's not making the first step yet. Either he wants to, like, move somewhere else, go overseas to study, or, you know, plan for his career first before he actually settle down in a relationship, things like that. So that is why he is actually planning his life, not only just the relationship aspect of it. Okay, so last question for today, because we're starting our ladies' night soon in a about like eight minutes at Gyro KL. So if you're in Bangsa, please head down to Gyro KL. It's like Kuala Loko and Gyro KL so like take over tonight. So free drinks for all ladies. Yay! Why why only ladies? It's because um, we spend all money to look pretty. <laughs> uh, next question, Adrian B. Can your tarot cards help solve my estranged family problems? If tarot card can solve problems a paracard is only a guidance for you you solve your own problem the power of your mind is always stronger than the power of your heart so can the the, the if, even if i give you a guidance right and you don't want to listen to the cards and like take those actions right how can the card save you so it's only a guidance for you the person making the action right is you yourself you know nobody can ever save you but yourself so can the tarot cards help your estranged family problem? Nobody can help you by yourself. It's just a guidance you need. So if I'm going to tell you that you're going to win the lottery next month, but you don't take the action to buy the lottery ticket, how are you going to win, right? But let's see um, what the card has to say about that issue, yeah? Judgment. So judgment card, right? It means, right, you are wanting to make a decision uh, very, very, very soon. So either you wanting to make a decision or someone within the family right wanting to make the decision very very soon so usually for questions like this i need more more uh, um, clarification what who is it who is involved are they kids involved is it like a parent uh, like you and your parents or you and your wife or you and your or, or, or whoever you and your brother so uh, it's it's too general for for me to give you advice but this card means like wanting to make a decision very 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 soon and yeah so that 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 is all so whether if you if you need need more info usually i would need more information for this kind of, of question to see whether is it is it like related to childhood issues related to you know someone doing something wrong it's like uh, uh, think all things like that but just to clarify to every everyone out there, the power of your mind is always stronger than the power of the, of, of the cards. The cards are all just guidance. But if you do not want to listen, listen also, you can never like solve, solve your issues. So that's all the time we have for tonight. If you're in Bangsa or nearby, you want to come by uh, Gyro KL tonight. It's Kuala Loko and um, Gyro KL take over. So um, good night to everyone. I hope I managed to like um, give you a bit of clarification tonight so if you want a full reading for me you can always book um, a, a, a reading yeah this wait, 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 this site <laughs> this site it's on uh, www.picktime.com slash sarah melo tarot and also follow me on instagram www.instagram.com slash sarah melo and follow me also on this page as i will always be posting a lot of updates maybe more free readings in the future and uh, maybe some free tutorials also so good night to everyone thank you for all your support and all your questions for tonight good night to you